How do folks? Welcome to Six Castles Wish. I'm Andy Lorian and today is our pre-travel day. We're off to Florida again. Gonna go to uh, Disney World, gonna see all the uh, latest things that are happening there. Uh, we're going to join in on the uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. So uh, this is our pre-travel day. Uh, gonna take it nice and easy. Um, fortunately, uh, already the um, problems have started happening because uh, that will treat ourselves to a nice little Mackie D's uh, quick early lunch. Uh, so driving up there, just uh, found a little uh, pressure warning in my front tire. So I have to go and get that checked out. So I've got the stress of a flat tire possibly when we come home. But worry about that if and when it happens. Got other things to be concerned about, like Disney World. Uh, yeah, so it's still the 50th celebration. Uh, we're going to go a uh, day early to the airport. Just you know, take it nice and easy because it's a special celebration for us as well. But more about that when we get to it. Uh, we're going to stay at the Radisson uh, Blue Hotel tonight. Uh, have a nice, easy stroll to the airport tomorrow morning. But uh, this, uh, this evening we're going to have a nice early tea. We're going to the airport pub, which apparently has a nice view of the runway. We'll have a nice tea there, a nice early night, and a nice easy entry into the, well, hopefully a nice easy entry into the airport. Going to go into one of the lounges as well, have a nice breakfast there, and then onto the plane, which is scheduled to leave on time. We've flagged with Virgin again this time, we've never had a problem with them, so we're going to stick with them. And when we get to Orlando, uh, hopefully we'll be in good time, we'll get a higher car this time. We're going to uh, go with Alamo, get ourselves a nice, decent car, head off to Coronado Springs, which is the first hotel that we ever stayed into. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of our favourites. It's nice. It's a moderate hotel, um, but it has a lot of deluxe touches to it. So you get a moderate price, but you get a deluxe feel. So it's a really nice hotel. There. It's a little away from... Everywhere else, a little less theming than uh, most Disney hotels, but it's what we like, it's really nice. So uh, let's get to the fun. Well, we made it here to the uh, airport. We're at the Radisson Blue. It's a lovely hotel. Uh, to be honest, can't be out doing a room tour. They're all the same. It's a standard British airport hotel. You know, it's got the amenities for, you know, you're stopping over for one night. It's got hair dryer iron. Uh, Tea and coffee making facilities, nice bed, nice and bright. Uh, luckily it's got air con because it's a bit scorching, but uh, we're going to Florida, so you know, we need to get used to the heat. Anyway, we're going to go get a little bit to eat and have a little night of it. So I'll see you in a bit. It's the next morning, uh, just had a very expensive night at the Radisson Hotel. Um, not sure what I'd rate it out of five, uh, probably three, based on uh, how expensive it was. Uh, bed wasn't particularly comfortable and the aircon was 
nothing much more than noise but it's got this lovely walkway straight through to terminal 2 uh, which is very convenient and I suppose that sort of makes it value for money anyway so we're gonna go through security and we'll see you on the other side right well we're through security now uh, it's actually pretty all right uh, we, we did have a fast pass but I've also got assistance because I have a cripple um, but yeah, we're in the, the shopping area, which is the scariest part of all travel travel days. Um, just having a little look about. Gin lounge. Oh god, Fizz Gig's seen a gin lounge. So uh, yeah, maybe some while in there. But yeah, you have uh, typical stuff that you get in all airports. Duty free spirits, uh, perfumes travel equipment loads of stuff anyway back to security got through nice and quick uh, it's about 15 minutes to get in the uh, check-in but that's mainly because we had a, a huge family in front of us with about well every suitcase that you could imagine to put on the conveyor belt then uh, took us about 10 minutes to get our stuff through and then about another 10 minutes to get through the actual security checks so uh, very well run here at Manchester the definitely got it down to a fine art but uh, yeah so we're gonna have a look at some of the uh, duty free stuff uh, some of the things you could buy I think we're having a hunt for cola bottles but she's got to get past the gym first before we can find cola bottles but then we've got a uh, reserve um, passes for one of the escape lounges so go and have some breakfast we'll see you in a bit right so we're in the escape lounge so in here you've got a fully stocked bar uh, all your juices pastries uh, fresh jam butter over here you've got some fruits and cereals and over in the middle you've got all the hot food which is constantly replenished uh, some bread rolls and sauces down the other end some beers over there in the fridge you can just see behind them people but yeah it's eat as much as you want all you care to enjoy they say in America but cracking little lounge loads of seating and just through at the back there you see a massive window where you could see the, the airport apron see all the planes coming in but yeah, great way to relax before your flight. Oh, the hustle and bustle, just sit down, relax, eat as much as you want. And just get ready to board the plane. hours to get to Florida just a little over that so uh, not a long flight normally it's about nine and a half hours so we'll do a little bit of uh, 
log in in the middle just let, let you see some of the food and that that we get. Um, well, between then and now, I think I'll watch a movie. Okay, so they just come round with the in-flight meal. This is a chicken and bacon in a white wine sauce. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really taste of anything, but it's food. What can I say? I've uh, got a nice little chocolate pudding and a bread roll to go with it as well. Um, yeah, so it'd be nice with a bit of seasoning, but it's just a bit bland, but it'll do. So welcome to Coronado Springs, it's our resort for our stay. Uh, we have stayed here before, it's uh, one of our favourites. Uh, not too heavily themed to Disney, uh, as I said before, it's a deluxe hotel for a moderate price, so uh, it's very decent value for money. Anyway, standard uh, room, two very big beds, and a little bit of uh, Disney theming. To my favourite three amigos, which appeals to me greatly. We've got a decent amount of lighting. Um, so far I've counted about eight USB ports. Uh, got the air con, got a, a nice fan going around there, so I'll jump in up, headbutt in that. Lovely little desk lamp, the TV, I've turned the, the sound off obviously because uh, copyrighted music these rooms do come with a Keurig coffee machine lots of a uh, 50th anniversary coffees there that I'm sure Fizz Giggle uh, plough into during a, our stay got our beverage cooler there uh, so the rest of the unit Six drawers with plenty of storage room in there. Little recycle bin. Then we have another wardrobe. Lots of more storage there. Got extra pillow and blankets if you need it in this melting heat. Got an ironing board. And they don't generally have irons these days, especially in the higher up hotels. It tends to have a, a steamer. So it's got a steamer there. A little table there for your um, suitcase. Then we've got our sink, two nice vanities there. Because we're in a moderate, we've got all the lovely extras there, but unfortunately, H2O aren't gonna be around for much longer, so get them while you can. Uh, more storage there. The towels, 
Then we're going to, oh, it's got one of these fancy mirrors. They do light up. There you go. There you go. There's me. Hello, me. Into our shower. Decent sized shower. Nice low basin. If we want to give the kids a, a bath. Two shower heads, a three holding one, and a rainfall. Well, like I say, I've stayed here before, and the showers are really, really good. Decent power to them. Um, more creature months there. It's all fixed to the wall since COVID times. But yeah, uh, H2O, unfortunately, they're going. Let's say, get them while you can. Uh, there's towels, there's the commode. And that's it. Right, so we're just going to do an unpack, a bit of refreshing, and hopefully we'll nip into Hollywood Studios. Right, finally in Hollywood Studios. You can probably tell by the music. Imagine uh, our first night, we're not going to go too mental, get a bite to eat, hopefully try and get on Rise of the Resistance. But yeah, just generally start soaking up the Disney atmosphere. See Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway lit up nicely. Not too crowded in the parks at the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but we have come in fairly late. It's, uh, I think it's about seven o'clock, something like that. Got a lot of people heading out. Has been some bad weather in the area, a bit of thunder and lightning. But uh, yeah, so let's see what we can get sorted. Of course, what did we have to do? We had to do Rise of the Resistance first. All this way to Florida, we've got to go on a Star Wars ride. And what better way to do it than the best Star Wars ride there has ever been? This is Rise of the Resistance. Can't wait. Transformers away in 30 seconds. They're good. What about the other Nightbot Yes. Check the hyperdrive also. Transport takeoff in 20 seconds. Hyperdrive needed. I need that already. Good. Airspeed sensor. Airfield. Thank you, Nightbot. Black leader, are you and your team ready? Affirmative. Engines are high. Red 2, blue 5, report. Red 2, check. Blue 5, standing by. Engage repulsors and hold on, recruits. All ships, launch. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Red 2, blue 5, keep it tight now. Get ready to make that jump to light speed on one one. I'm looking at anything, huh? Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? <laughs> there appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got company. First order attack fighters. We are up. We are up. We got two blue flag. We got a clear path to transport to make the jump. civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded.
your safety stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What the? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. A probe droid. You're lucky I didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, it goes to the another way down to the escape pods. The Resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Down the alarm! All personnel to their station! Sir, the prisoners have escaped! How brave. But ultimately hopeless. in Disney World, absolutely love it. We can't come here and not go on Rise of the Resistance. But, after a long day of travelling and going through the galaxy, I think we need something to eat. I'm gonna go to Docking Bay 7. So that's our food done at uh, Ducky Bay 7, absolutely gorgeous as usual. Um, this gig had the Batuan beef, I had the fried chicken tip yip. Um, still makes me giggle that the, the interactive food of choice, especially in Batu, in a galaxy far, far away, 
is mac and cheese but oh, it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous uh, the whole restaurant is fantastic well themed um, in fact I'll flip the camera around stay with me really there we go as you can see some cracking theming the sounds the music it's a it's a busy working port here on Batu busiest port in the quadrant it's got a few little Easter eggs here there's three cargo bins you can see one whoop, boing there um, but yeah there's two more on the roof and this one's being loaded in now and each each one has a number on it this one has 80 and the other two have other similar numbers basically it's the uh, it's the years of release for Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi obviously the 80 there is for Empire Strikes Back but yeah, this land has loads of little Easter eggs all about. So uh, if you ever come to Batu, keep an eye out. There's lots to see, lots you could do here. You can literally spend a whole day here. I have several times. Well worth it. How do folks? Future Andy here. Unfortunately, I didn't quite finish off the vlog that night. Not long after we left uh, Galaxy's Edge, the, uh, the heavens opened, so we had to make it back to the car. And unfortunately, on the way back to the car, I had quite a nasty tumble. I managed to uh, take a few layers of skin off my elbow and my knee, uh, cracked my elbow and also hurt my shoulder as well. Uh, so that, on top of my other disabilities, uh, it did have an impact on the rest of the holiday. However, it did not stop us. And the uh, following day, we had a little special celebration, but you'll see that in the next vlog. So for now... Please give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us a little comment down below if you can. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, please do. We'd love to have you subscribe to us. And yeah, it just if you have sub subscribed, then please click that little notification bell. It'll let you know uh, when there's a new vlog up. So any thumbs up, subscri subscriptions, notifications, anything like that, please do. We'd love to have you along and it does help people find the channel. So until next time. Bye-bye.